Okay. In the start. Yes. Please. Okay. Thank you very much for organizing us for for uh, providing me to give a talk. Uh, uh, I was not active in the in the last uh, two or three years in uh, neutrino physics, uh, unfortunately. Well, one of the big reasons is that uh, our laboratory asked me to write uh, a textbook on nuclear physics. So <laughs> I almost spent almost uh, three years, full three years, uh, to write uh, this textbook. So <laughs> it's almost finished. So I, I hope to come back to research activities uh, very soon. Uh, and uh, uh, this was already uh, discussed this morning by uh, Dr. Nakamura. Uh, for neutrino, for describing the neutrino interactions, uh, especially considering various uh, experiments in neutrino physics, uh, we have to understand uh, various uh, regions, including uh, resonance and uh, DIS. Uh, today, of course, I'll give a talk on the DIS region. But in future, uh, we have to uh, build some model uh, for describing uh, effective model to describe all these uh, areas. Well, of course, we are discussing uh, in the among some Japanese people at uh, the KK uh, Theory Center. Uh, so, depending on, on the uh, neutrino energies, uh, various uh, processes uh, contribute. And today, I discuss uh, this DIS uh, region especially on the pattern distribution functions. Uh, in the lepton uh, nucleon or nuclear, uh, nuclear scattering, uh, we have uh, uh, three structure functions. In the charged uh, uh, lepton scattering, we have F1 and F2 structure function. And uh, in addition, we have a, a F3 structure function uh, due to this uh, anti-symmetric uh, tensor. Uh, in the neutrino uh, reaction. And uh, uh, the structure function uh, uh, have been measured uh, in the uh, neutrino experiment. Uh, these are the example of the new tab uh, collaboration. Uh, this is F2 and this is uh, F3. And uh, uh, the abscissa says a Q square from 1 to 1,000, uh, uh, GB square at uh, various uh, x points, uh, large x to uh, 10 to the minus 3. So we have uh, these uh, structure functions from neutrino experiment, which could be used for the global analysis. And also, the Minerva experiment is going on. Hopefully, they will produce some results uh, in the near future. And uh, as uh, uh, discussed, uh, this, uh, we have a uh, typical nuclear modifications uh, uh, like this one. Uh, we have fair motion uh, contribution at large X, and we have uh, binding and possibly the, uh, some nucleon uh, modification at uh, medium X. And this region is so-called anti-shadowing, and we have a uh, uh, shadowing uh, region at small X. So all these, uh, these uh, different mechanisms contribute. And uh, uh, today, I do not step into the any physics uh, uh, mechanism. But pattern distribution functions are very uh, valuable quantities for uh, describing various processes, including uh, the hadron uh, reactions. Uh, for example, the uh, hadron production cross-section at uh, LHC or leak uh, could be uh, described uh, by uh, uh, these uh, contributions. Uh, first, we uh, uh, provide a pattern distribution function in a nuclei or in the nucleon. Then this uh, elementary uh, cross-section is calculated in part of the QCD here. And then if we observe uh, hadron in the final state, uh, we also should provide a fragmentation function which uh, uh, are measured mainly in the E plus E minus uh, annihilation, um, maybe together with other uh, production processes. So all these uh, uh, ingredients should be uh, well known for describing the cross-section uh, very precisely. And these are the typical experimental data we have uh, for the global analysis. 
I'm sorry, I didn't uh, plot. Uh, th this figure is old one, so we should have zero data here. Uh, in any case, this is a is a x and versus a Q square. These are the typical uh, experimental uh, data taken from like uh, EMC and uh, this is uh, slug data is here. Uh, EMC and MC uh, is uh, cover this region. And that large X part here, the, uh, the, the zero uh, measurements are going on, I believe also after the 12 GB upgrade. And the Fermi Lab E96 experiment is uh, ongoing to measure the anti cork distribution in this uh, region. At small x, uh, LHC uh, should uh, contribute uh, for the determination of the uh, pattern distribution, maybe the gluon distribution of large and uh, small uh, x. And uh, let's see. Uh, this table is slightly uh, the old one uh, taken from the MRS uh, uh, publication in 1998. But of course, these are the data uh, they use for the global fit for the nucleonic PDS. But even, uh, of course, updated uh, tables, you can find it here. But the tables are essentially the same. So for nuclear PDF, uh, we of course uh, have uh, this DIS data and also the Rian data. And in addition, we may include the neutrino data, but of course this is uh, actually for the heavy nuclear target. So to be precise, unless we know the uh, deuteron or the nucleon uh, or proton uh, structure function in neutron reaction, we cannot discuss the nuclear modification in neutron reaction. That's why it's uh, as shown by this uh, dotted rectangle. But in any case, we have uh, neutron data if we, uh, we would like to use. And the uh, RIG and LHC started uh, producing uh, data uh, for these uh, reactions. So uh, uh, including possibly the LHC data, we may have uh, a better understanding for the nuclear pattern distribution function. And uh, right now, the fermi Lab experiment is going on to measure the anti cork distribution in the medium X region. However, the uh, experimental coverage of the X and Q square kinematical region uh, is very restricted for the nuclear data. These are the typical nuclear data, X and uh, Q square. And uh, this uh, figure is taken from the uh, H1 and Z uh, publication. And uh, uh, here is the Q square and uh, F2 uh, as a function of X from 0 0.65 to 10 to the minus 4. And uh, this region uh, correspond to this one. As you know, this uh, scaling violation, namely the Q scale slope of the F2 structure function, is directly proportional to the gluon distribution. So you can imagine that uh, within the limited uh, kinematical range, it's, the, it's very difficult to determine the gluon distribution in, uh, in nuclei. That is uh, one of the reasons it's very difficult to pin down the gluon distribution. Then uh, we may take the functional form of the uh, uh, parameterization as follows. If there is no uh, nuclear modification uh, uh, for the pattern distribution function, then uh, u coke distribution in the nucleus A of course, it is per nucleon, is given by the proton neutron contribution and also for the other uh, pattern distributions. And uh, if uh, uh, neutron and proton uh, distribution related by the exchanging U and D, uh, we obtain uh, a nu uh, U coke distribution nucleus is given by this uh, uh, ratio. So, of course, the uh, experimental data indicate about 10% uh, 
I was going to make a comment. Yeah, yeah. Isosymmetry does not uh, oh. relate things the way you say unless n is equal to z. Uh-huh. You know, you get yeah. usually the force is a c1 dot c2 sum, uh -huh. which gives you a specific interaction effect. Uh -huh. If you say those are free nuclei, then okay. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so of course, uh, we, we would like to give Rafa a guideline for the nuclear PDF. So for the details, we need to take into account uh, the QED effect in nuclear, of course. And uh, then we know. Uh, also, your distribution would vanish at x equals 1. X, yes. So if you if uh, you would like to describe the region x larger than one, uh, we have to think about it. Yes, but so far there is no DIS data larger than <coughs> x uh, x larger than one. Well, of course, there are data, but W square is very small. Yeah, there, there is data from BCDMS. BCD on carbon. Carbon, okay. Large Q square. Large but Q square, but what is the x? I don't remember by heart, but it looks like 1.2, 1.3. I think there's also available uh, retrieval data, right, Kevin? I think there was CCFR and NUTEV at x greater than 1 data. Uh -huh. Yeah, but it, um, I don't think it's packaged in a way that's very useful. I think, how, how how about I think it was done as uh -huh. an annual thing, or maybe yeah. just a very small number of units. Is our uh, invariant mass also larger than 4 GB scale? Maybe yeah. not for BCDMS, they have very large kids. Yeah. Oh, of course, uh, we have data from, for example, Jera x larger than 1, the, but so W square is very small, so it can be used uh, for our studies. And, and the experimental data indicate, as I showed, the experimental data indicated about, uh, well, this is a rather small carbon uh, nucleus. It's about 10 or 4 medium uh, nucleus. It's like uh, 15 or 20 percent modification, and this this kind of modification is taken into account by the uh, by uh, this uh, kind of uh, modification uh, function. So we parameterize this function uh, as a function of x and uh, uh, a. Then uh, we fit the experimental uh, data. That's the uh, idea. And the Q square point here could be taken arbitrary, but uh, we chose 1 GeV is square. And there are uh, three, uh, since this kind of function, uh, experimental data should be fitted, so we uh, used uh, this kind of cubic uh, functional form in the numerator. And uh, in order to describe this uh, frame motion part, uh, we introduced this uh, function. And uh, there are, uh, of course, these are the parameters to be fixed by the experiment. However, there are three constraints by uh, nuclear charge, baryon number, and moment, uh, momentum. So uh, all the, these are related to the valence quark distribution, and these are all related to the valence and C, anti quark and gluon distribution. So three uh, uh, parameters should be fixed by these uh, conditions. So we use uh, electron muon uh, as neutrino Dorarian as usually done for fitting the not uh, nucleonic uh, uh, PDFs. We assume uh, this. I'm discussing this for nucleonic PDFs, not nuclear. But we typically assume some functional form, and. Uh, we fit observable at the experimental Q-scale point by using the DGRAP uh, evolution equation. Then these parameters are, are fixed by the experiment. And uh, of course, the neutrino data is very uh, uh, valuable for fixing the variance scope distribution. Since F3, F3 structure function, the summation of this F3 structure function is directly proportional to U variance and uh, D variance. Of course, there is should be small correction like e s minus s bar or c minus t bar, but us we usually neglect as a fast uh, approximation. 
So the variance scope distribution uh, could be a fixed by neutrino and together with other experimental data. And for the anti quark distribution, the uh, F2 structure function at small x uh, is given by the anti quark distribution. So uh, we can uh, determine the anti quark distribution at small uh, x F2 data. And uh, of course, and another uh, experiment is the Dorian experiment, uh, which uh, proved the uh, anti quark distribution if uh, a quark distribution is known. So, uh, so we use these experimental data. For uh, nuclear distribution, we have, for example, this uh, information the calcium F2 over F2, uh, deuteron F2, uh, typical data. Uh, like this one. And we have a, a femoral Durian experiment. And the currently, the experiment is going on to measure the ratio uh, from zero point roughly 0 0.1 to I saw 0 0.45 in this region. Uh, however, this, uh, these experimental data indicate the uh, anti quark nuclear modification is very is small. So it means that uh, the anti quark distribution, uh, it, th there is no nuclear modification for the anti quark distribution at uh, x 0.1. However, uh, this region is controlled by the anti quark distribution. So the anti quark modification behaves like this one. But on the other hand, uh, the there is anti-shadowing here, so it should be explained by the uh, valence quark. It, the red curve is the valence uh, modification. Uh, it should be explained by the valence anti-quark shadowing. An, uh, anti -shadowing. However, uh, this uh, region is dominated by the anti-quark distribution, so anti-quark distribution uh, is smaller than one at uh, medium x. And the uh, overall function form is controlled by the uh, uh, baryon number and charge conservation. So this, uh, if there is a uh, depletion, the, the ratio should increase somewhere. And so there is some conservation for this uh, uh, variance modification. So this is a, a rough idea we obtain from these experimental data. So of course, the details should be uh, determined by the global analysis. And uh, we reasonably can explain these experimental data by introducing uh, various, uh, several parameters. And uh, the E9, uh, the, uh, this Fermilla Dorian data are all also uh, explained. Uh, the gluon distribution. Uh, is determined by the uh, F2 uh, Q-scale slope, uh, as I mentioned. This is a HERA uh, data as a function of Q-scale. And uh, this is uh, uh, the standard Degrap uh, evolution equation. F2, namely the quark distribution, is uh, uh, the Q-scale dependence is given by the quark splitting and also uh, gluon split into uh, quark. However, at uh, small uh, x, the gluon distribution is much larger than the uh, quark distribution. So this uh, evolution is controlled by this term. And uh, by using some approximation, uh, he obtained that uh, Q scale slope, slope is given by the uh, uh, gluon uh, distribution. So this slope is the uh, gluon uh, distribution. The other way is to, for example, use uh, jet production. But in this case, various, uh, these, all these processes uh, contribute. Uh, but however, by looking at the small PT region, uh, especially the gluon-gluon fusion processes like, like these uh, contribute, so we can uh, somehow determine the uh, gluon distribution. Uh, this one? Yeah, this one. X, uh, 
in the region, gluon is much larger than anti-quark. So it's like 0 0.01, or should be a smaller X region. And uh, uh, however, it's not so easy for nuclear distribution by looking at uh, data. Uh, as I mentioned, this uh, Q square uh, slope of the quark distribution is given by this term. So we obtain this one. However, if you look at uh, the experimental data in the same kinematical region, somehow uh, the, these different data do not agree with each other. For example, this is uh, an MC experiment of tin and carbon ratio. As Q square increases, for example, at x0.035, it seems it tends to increase. However, if we look at the Hermes data in the same kinematical point, well, the experimental error is maybe too large, but they uh, ten <laughs> tend to decrease. Of course, the nuclear uh, species are different. Uh, however, if we perform the uh, global analysis, the, these conflicting data increase and decrease. Uh, uh, because of these conflicting data, it's rather difficult to determine the gluon distribution. But in any case, we obtain this uh, modification for uh, many e nuclear uh, data and will provide the code. And we hope to, hopefully, we ho uh, update nuclear pattern distribution function. Uh, there are various uh, groups which contribute to nuclear PDF. Uh, and uh, our uh, group and the S-class uh, group and CTEC also started this project uh, a few years ago. And uh, there is a recent uh, uh, also report. And the Florian et al. have been uh, also producing some data. And uh, of course, the Kirogi and Petty model is, is slightly different one. And, uh, and the Frankfurt et al. also produce. And Bodek they uh, uh, would like to discuss more uh, Q scaling. Of course, this is uh, your models. Well, Kirogi and Petty's analysis is a slightly different uh, motivation. Uh, they try to calculate the F2 structure function by uh, standard nuclear model, uh, finding ferry motion, pion excess, and shadowing uh, as much as they can. And they try to attribute uh, the other effect uh, for this uh, offshore uh, uh, nuclear uh, modification. They try to fit this one from the experimental data. And uh, uh, depending on the analysis group, uh, uh, people take a slightly different uh, functional form. Uh, for example, in our case, we, as I mentioned, we take this cubic functional form. And the uh, escalator, they divided uh, three uh, regions and used some of the different uh, functional form. And uh, others are also slightly different. But of course, the, uh, although the uh, functional forms are different, uh, we obtain uh, similar results for the valence uh, C and the uh, uh, gluon distribution at the uh, small Q square and uh, large uh, Q square. So there are some variations among uh, analysis, especially for the gluon distribution. Uh, for example, in our analysis, we obtained that a small gluon, but for others, uh, Escalator obtained that a large gluon actually. And uh, the one of the problem was uh, that the uh, CTEC group uh, analyzed the neutrino data and uh, they obtained very different uh, nuclear uh, modification from the charged lepton uh, analysis. Uh, this is a nuclear modification they obtain from nuclear data. And these are the typical nuclear modification obta obtained from the charged lepton uh, scattering. So, uh, of course, uh, according to the analysis, uh, 
the obtain these are somewhat uh, uh, different depending on the uh, assumption for the uh, handling the data for the nucleonic PDF. But they claim that uh, uh, their result from the neutrino data are consistently different from the charged lepton nuclear modification. However, I, I do not know the reason. We, I, I have not studied the reason in detail yet. The, the Florian et al.'s uh, result, uh, according to them, <laughs> uh, the, the issue does not exist. They seems to be uh, consistent uh, with the uh, neutrino data. Do, do you have any? Yeah, yeah. Afterwards, okay. <laughs> uh, I have not deta studied details, so I don't know the reason. So, so I finish uh, so soon. <laughs> and uh, the activities in 2000 uh, this year, uh, I found uh, this <coughs> this paper. I just uh, uh, comment. Right, uh, CTEC uh, people. Up, uh, this is a uh, uh, and Strickman because it's uh, a publication. Well, these are the small effect, but they included, uh, for example, neutron proton uh, different in the scaling uh, parameter. Of course, we usually neglect this kind of small effect uh, in the convolution uh, model. But in any case, they try to provide precise uh, <coughs> Uh, result. The another uh, point is that uh, they may consider the QED effect on uh, nucleate PDF. Uh, if the uh, QED effect uh, exists, uh, the momentum conservation uh, could be slightly uh, different uh, from one by the uh, this uh, photon uh, momentum part. And they uh, attributed this effect to the gluon uh, modification. They, they introduce some scaling, scale parameter, scale constant in the gluon uh, distribution. But however, the, the effect looks like uh, not, not so very uh, large. But for understanding for the, for example, Nutev's science case w anomaly, the QED effect is very important. So maybe they may be aiming at uh, understanding uh, such uh, science case at a W anomaly. But overall, nuclear modification uh, pattern distribution functions are not so much modified. And the uh, CTEC uh, uh, group started uh, including the uh, Dorian charge lepton and uh, Dorian data. And uh, this is a report of the DIS uh, 2013. And uh, they, uh, they obtained the U balance and uh, uh, D balance and strange and gluon distributions. But th this is still preliminary, it seems. So the, uh, the According to uh, various uh, global analysis for nuclear B PDFs, the valence coke distribution is uh, reasonably uh, uh, well understood. Uh, of course, the, uh, the experiment is in progress at zero for the large X region, so we had a better understanding of the large X region. And the uh, anti coke distribution is uh, understood only. X around 0.1 region. Uh, however, this experiment is also in progress at the uh, Fermi lab, so we have better uh, have a better understanding in the even in the medium uh, X region. And uh, we have uh, very large uncertainties for the gluon uh, distribution, but uh, including LSC data, uh, we may be able to, able to improve uh, this situation. And so issue is the charge lepton DIS and Newton experiment uh, uh, inconsistency or consistency. Uh, and uh, uh, for using the neutrino oscillation experiment uh, at the various uh, facilities, uh, in somehow we have to match 
this, uh, this, uh, this result with the uh, uh, resonance model. And the gluon distribution, we hope to see a good LSC data. And the experimental uh, effort is in progress at the uh, Gerald Fermi Lab, and of course the Fermi Lab neutrino experiment, and the LSC. And at uh, JPAC, since I belong to KKR to advertise uh, JPAC, the, in addition to neutrino experiment, uh, JPAC high momentum beam line, at this stage it's uh, 30 GB, uh, was financially approved in the beginning of this year. So we it could have some uh, high energy hadron physics uh, project uh, at uh, this uh, new uh, beam line. And uh, uh, in addition, you may have heard that a large grant was approved for Japanese neutrino research activities uh, from this year, uh, spring, uh, for the, the summer of this year. So uh, although I, I was not active in this field for the last two or three years, uh, uh, we hope to restart uh, this project and try to answer some of these is issues in the near future. Okay, thank you very much. That's one of the motivation that you are doing experiment at the Fermi. Fermi experiment is going to measure some nuclear modification. It's so called Minerva experiment. I thought and there was some data already on neon in bubble chambers. Bubble chambers. Yeah, very high. But go ahead. Uh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't, I don't know. Yes, yes. There, yes. there was a data on neon. Hmm. Actually, there was a data on ratio neon to deuterium yes. from bubble chamber. So yeah. And here. it showed different shadowing. Yes, yeah. uh, the, the errors were large. Yes. Oh, yeah. Large. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. But what, what you're saying is certainly. Uh, yeah, it, it is, uh, you expect them, I think, to be different at some level. Yes. <coughs> Just the so called coherence curve. So the axial vector curve is supposedly different than, than the vector curve. A, 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 exactly. And that's essentially what you're saying is yeah, the fluctuation is just like mass things like, like a pion. Right. Uh, actually changes the shadow. Yeah. And, and the, uh, the CTEC analysis, yeah. which you mentioned that mm -hmm. uh, this, this agreement was not found by Escorna uh -huh. or uh, Escorga. Uh -huh. I think there were two main reasons why <coughs> it was CTEC. Uh -huh. The first was that instead of using the double differential cross-section, uh -huh. they actually tried to derive the ratios from the structure function. Uh -huh. And in doing so, they had to assume a value of R, uh -huh. which they took from the uh, charged lepton scale. Uh -huh. And they did not build in the nuclear dependence of other effects that uh -huh. they had to do for extracting the uh -huh. structure. Uh -huh. And number two, in their bits, they did not use the fully full covariant error matrix uh -huh. that's available from, uh, from NUTEV. We're talking uh -huh. about the NUTEV uh, neutrino iron data that's been compared to a average, uh, average nuclear. Since there is no neutrino deuterium data available. And when you take the systematic errors and just take the sum of the square, hmm. then you get a huge systematic error hmm. compared to what you do when you get to use the full covariant error matrix. And with that huge uh, a systematic error, you can fit anything. Mm. And that's why they could find compatibility between their estimate of the uh, neutrino iron data from NUTEV mm. and the charged lepton. Mm. We find that when you use the double differential cross section and you use the full covariant error matrix, we find there is no way to get a compatibility mm. between neutrino nucleus 
neutrino ions are and charge leptons. I can give a, a short 10-15 uh, minute uh, presentation this afternoon to show what happens when you go down even to lower Q squared. Mm. The derivation, the deviation between charge lepton and uh, neutrino gets even larger. This is also consistent with what you expect from these hadron fluctuations. Okay, so the still the effects uh, exist. I see. Yeah. Okay. Other questions, comments? Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Ned. Thank you very much.